one. So, yeah, I took a hiatus yesterday too. Sorry. But it was a really nice relaxation day. So, I mean, sorry, but also not sorry a little bit. Uh, today, we are going to wrap presents. I found this sweet wrapping paper. It's all foily and it's plaid. It actually matches one of my, uh, one of my shirts that I have. And we're using the office today because my dog will not keep off the presents in the wrapping paper if we don't use the office. All right, so first is going to be this one. And I have to hold it like this because the person who it's for <laughs> tends to watch these videos. So, I'm just gonna start in on this and I guess talk about the weird thing about growing up. Because I've noticed, uh, like obviously I have a trip to Ireland soon and I have my own apartment. Well, I've noticed that my list for things that I actually want for the holidays has drastically shrunk. Um, it's basically just extra spending money, hotel and food money for Ireland, and then uh, a blender. And there is a story behind the blender. I want a standalone blender, because I just do. They're really expensive though. It's the only reason I haven't gotten one for myself yet. And why I want one, put it upside down like this, there we go, is because I had to try to whisk cream uh, for that big beast I was having. And I didn't have a blender, so I got to whisk it by hand. Well now, I would also like to make bread or some amount of dough and things and Oh, also, I'm one of those people who wraps it this way, the sideways. I did see a thing recently on, like, wrapping it, not vertical, but, like, diagonally and uh, with the corners. I'll do that maybe sometime later. But right now, it's this one. Um, yeah, no, I would like to be able to cook and to bake and do a bunch of that kind of stuff. And I honestly want a blender for it like making a bunch of cream dishes and with like egg whites and whipping them and beating bread and all of this kind of fun stuff I don't normally do but now that I'm apparently 25 I want to bake everything granted watching the great British baking show doesn't help it just makes me want to bake more oh my gosh so, the issue I have here is, I have a carpet floor, but it doesn't like to work for me. Um, yeah, no, I remember, like, being a kid, and being like, oh yeah, I want, I want this toy, I want this toy, or even as I became a teenager, and I get the, the thing of, as you grow older, you usually get less gifts because your gifts are a lot more expensive now than when you were a kid. You don't just get the little cheap fun gifts anymore. You get like actual hardware or consoles. Like I think when, I think I was about 13. I don't know how old I was, but I got a red, not 3DS, uh, but the one of the Game Boy Advance, like, SDs things, um, anyway, I got one, and it was red, which was awesome, because that's my favorite color, but they also got me Pokemon Ruby, and I think I got a few, like, cheap, easy things and some clothes that year, but that was, like, got, like, five other things that were super affordable, and I got that. And that was my big gift of the year, which was always the thing at my family's is you'd have a bunch of little gifts and then you'd have like one big gift that you were not allowed to open until the last, it was your last gift basically. Um, and my stepdad did a thing where we would open, because we didn't used to do this, but 
then he made it a thing and it was fun. Uh, we would open one gift on Christmas Eve. It couldn't obviously be your big gift. That was not allowed. But, yeah, we would just get one freebie on Christmas Eve. We got to usually choose what it was. Unless, like, all your gifts were kind of pricey or special in some way, and then we didn't get to have it. Um, or we didn't get to choose anyway, they would choose for us. Oh, I want to flip this over. Okay. I'm going to have to flip it over anyway. Whatever. There's stuff inside it that's just going to, yep, fall the second I do. Uh, yeah, I don't do that right now, anyway, that tradition, because, well, I do if I have enough money, but this year is a, a little tight with presents, but that's fine. I've spoiled everybody all the other years. Uh, yeah, I like that tradition, though. It's kind of nice. It's like a, it settles the kids down a little bit. You're like, all right, you get one, you get one present, you get to choose or not choose what it is. But you can have one. And then you get that one present, you're like, yeah, and then you want to open more, and they're like, no, you gotta wait. Granted, me and my sister would wake up my mom at like five in the morning. <laughs> they're like, you gotta wait, and then obviously we couldn't sleep. And so it'd be like five or seven in the morning. We're like, alright, we're up. Uh, we're opening presents now, because we are ready, and so we weren't really, it didn't happen that quick. We weren't allowed to until they were ready, but they understood the Christmas morning, so they were like, okay, fine, and then they would go make their coffee, and after their coffee was all done and they were all settled, we were allowed to start opening gifts, but not until they had their coffee ready, like... <laughs> They had to both have coffee and both be sitting there wrapped up in blankets and be like, okay, go ahead. And then I think, I don't know if we really did a, a gift distributor or a, somebody to play Santa that year or anything like that. We might have, but I think it was just like, they would bring over presents. Like my boyfriend's house, they bring over somebody sits there usually it's his mom and she hands presents to his niece and then everybody gets like a stack and then we wait until all the presents are ready and distributed and then we open them so everybody has their own like little way of doing it if you guys want to comment below like what your family's traditions are i'm sure Mine are gonna sound weird to some people, and to other people sound totally normal. Okay, there we go. And now we have two perfectly wrapped little little presents. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I actually did that nicely. I have lots of wrapping paper left too. Maybe I will get some more gifts this year. Okay, uh, all right. So these are all done. I still need to get one. For my dog too. That's a thing that has to happen. Um, yeah, nice and pretty, no shiny and red. So I hope you guys have some fun traditions. And if you haven't bought presents yet, go ahead. If you're more of a art giver or a little create a thing or make a thing, give them. I did that for years. Especially before I got a job. I was like, okay, I'll just make things. And I still do it, too. I'll just make stuff. Especially for my grandma. That's always fun. Yeah, I hope so far your December is going well. This was Vlogmas, I think, 11. And, yeah. Alright. Peace out, guys. See you tomorrow.